Working on Bernhardt, opens up right. What's up, everyone, and welcome back to the Fast Break. We've got a ton for you on today's episode. In this episode, we're bringing in four of the most accurate and deadliest shooters in the league to have them break down their stick setup for you guys at home. That's coming later in the show. Josh Byrne, Matt Rambo, Joe Walters, and Marcus Holman, all four of them are breaking down their setup. But before we get into any of that, let's get into the opening face-off. You can watch every single PLL game from the 2019 season for free. Yep, you heard that right. Every single game on NBC Sports Gold with the PLL Pass. In fact, I don't know why I'm not doing that right now instead of standing on this roof. But if you guys want to check it out, the link is down below. An all-new instructional series for you defenders at home is now live on our YouTube channel, linked up above. Last week was Redwoods attackman Jules Henningberg. This week is LSM Kyle Hartzell. And in a special STX episode of the Inside Feed, Emma and I caught up with Kyle Harrison, Mike Earhart, and Will Manny to see what they've been up to while stuck at home. That is also linked down below. And lastly, you've probably seen some of the new highlight tapes. Kyle Burnlore's best saves from 2019 and some of Jordan Wolf's wildest goals from last season. This week, we've got Miles Thompson highlights, Connor Farrell highlights, and more. Links up above to go check those out. All right, let's kick it to our first pro this week. Attackman of the Year, Final Assist Leader, Championship MVP, and League MVP, Matt Rambo. It's win and you're in for whip snakes. And Matt Rambo goes right to the net and scores. What's up, guys? Matt Rambo here with the Whip Snakes Lacrosse Club. Today I'm gonna to be talking to you about my lacrosse head and how I like it strung up. So first off, I'm an Epic athlete, so I use the Epic Z1 head. The design of the head makes the pocket be a little bit lower, and that's great for me, and it's great for attackmen that love the one-handed cradle. So for me, I use a low pocket, and uh, this is great for one-handed cradling, stick protection, anything you can do to not get the ball checked out. So for me, having the ball sit low is a lot harder for a defenseman to check the ball out of my stick. Secondly, I use two shooting strings here, so the ball kind of catches on that when I pass and when I shoot. Um, I don't use a ton of whip, but I like the ball to catch a little bit to get a little bit more, I guess, extra power on my shot. Secondly, I keep the top a little bit tighter up here, so the ball kind of is a quick release. It doesn't really hang in the, the mesh too long, so it's just a really quick release out of there. So when a defenseman's on my hands, it's easy for me to be able to get the ball out. I don't string my own sticks. I wish I did, but this is just straight factory strung from the Epic people. Um, they do a little extra things for me because I've talked to the stringers at Epic. So they add another shooting string, they put a little bit more whip in and they make the bottom of the pocket just a little bit bigger. And that's about it. I'm kind of simple with my sticks. I've been using this setup for the last three years. It's been working for me, um, especially last year. This is my setup, like I said. It's a low pocket, easy to one-handed cradle. Sits right there, but at the same time, it's a quick release out. Rambo swims on Landis, gets topside, Rambo scores! Next up, we have a shooter that led the league in goals on the year in Marcus Holman. Marcus also led the league in goals between 10 and 15 yards out, and his release time is insane. We're gonna hear from Marcus on his current head setup and how it allows him to get the ball out of his stick so quickly. Driver the feed, the shot from Holman, perfectly placed under the bar. What's up, PLL fans? This is Marcus Holman, number one attackman for the Archers Lacrosse Club. Today, I'm gonna be taking you through my stick setup. My head setup is pretty simple. I just have one shooting string and one nylon above that. My whip in my pocket on a scale of one to 10, I would say probably is around a seven. Being a shooter, a guy that maybe can stretch the defense and, and take two pointers or uh, score from 10 to 12 yards, you know, I've gotta be able to get the ball out of my stick with some pop on it, especially with the, the tremendous amount of talent at the goalie position in the PLL. So I've added some velocity to my shot and the ultra power head really has, has changed the game in terms of how I shoot. Uh, it adds three to five mile an hour to your shot. Uh, it's, it's a head I've been using for the past three years. It's absolutely changed the way that I've been able to shoot the ball at a consistent level with speed and velocity. In terms of hold in my stick, uh, it might not have as much hold as, you know, say a dodger or a guy who feeds a lot, um, who needs to protect his stick more against a defenseman. I think that ability in my stick allows me to get the ball out quicker. 
Driver over, quick shot, they score! Marcus Holman let it go in a hurry. I can shoot from different release points. If the ball is up high in my stick, I can get it out quick. If it's low in my stick, I can get it out as well. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Oh, Holman, he scores! I'm sure many of you saw the goal where uh, I shot around a defender and the ball kind of hung on that last string, allowing me to increase my angle to score. It also allows me, again, the way that my stick is strung up right now is I can quick stick the ball if I want to. If I need to take you know, a turn and fire shot, the ball can get in and out of my stick very quickly. It allowed me to win the PLL Accuracy Contest last year during the All-Star Game, which was a pretty cool feeling, competing with some of the best shooters in the world, guys like Ryan Brown and, and Will Manny. So hopefully we can bring home another accuracy title this summer and a lot of goals for the Archers in 2020. Up next, we have Joe Walters. Now, if you don't know who Joe is, you definitely should because he had this insane go-ahead goal during the championship game. He's probably the most consistent lefty shooter in the league, especially from... There's a dog barking. He's probably the most consistent lefty shooter in the league, especially from range. He shot 44% from the five to 10 yard mark. This is due largely in part to his ability to get to his dominant hand and to release the ball. So let's not wait any longer. Here is Joe Walters. What's up guys, Joe Walters here from the Redwoods LC. And I'm here to talk to you about my head and stringing setup. This is the exact stick that I used to finish the season last year. I want to say it was the last game plus the playoffs. It's a Maverick Tactic 2.0. I'm using East Coast Mesh, my JW1 edition. The first thing you notice about my stick is probably the die job. It's always done by Lacrosse Unlimited and my guy Rob Rimmer. He's been doing my dies for over a decade now since I became a pro and it's almost become a season ritual now where he sends me a fresh die every year. My pocket is a mid to low pocket, not too shallow, not too deep. For me as a player, I need to have a quick release when I pass and when I shoot. I've tried time and time again to use a high pocket or a really deep pocket, but I've always found that it takes a lot of time for me to get a pass off or when I shoot, it goes right to the ground. Some key components to my pocket. Number one is I have to have a channel. That makes sure that the ball is securely in there when I'm cradling. I can't stand when it's rattling around hitting the plastic. Number two, when I string, I got to make sure my sidewalls are tight. That's just a pet peeve. When I get done stringing, my hands are almost raw because I'm pulling down on those strings so tight. Number three, I've had the same shooting string set up for over a decade as well. Three across with the bottom one being super loose and they get gradually tighter as you get to the top so that it doesn't hit the plastic. He has been super consistent across the first two weeks of the season. Here's Kavanaugh, draws the slide, drew two and made the pass off for Walters who scores. So that's my stick, that's my setup and I'm gonna leave you with this. I think it's really important as a player to learn how to string. This has gotta be your best friend and you need to know everything about it. My preferences might not be the same as yours or someone else's, so that's why it's important to learn how to string to cater to your game's needs. Growing up, I didn't have the luxury of YouTube or all these instructional videos to learn how to string. It was literally done by trial and error. I would do the top or do a sidewall, mess up, undo it, redo it, and that might have taken me 100 times until I got it right. But that's what it takes. As my game evolved, so did the way I string. So there's no excuses, good luck, and roll wood. Do you guys remember that feed from Connor Fields to Josh Byrne in Hamilton? Behind the back feed, behind oh. the back goal! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Fields to Byrne! Wow! We've been wondering how Josh Byrne has such great control with his stick. So we asked him to go in depth on that area in particular with his head setup. How do you do it, Josh? What's going on, guys? Josh Byrne here with EPL Chaos, and today I'm here to talk to you guys about my string setup. All right, so first things first, I like more of a mid-low pocket, but also I need my pocket to be able to shift so that when I'm dodging or one-handed cradling, that ball can sit nice and low, and then it can also come up nice and high into that sweet spot so that when I'm shooting, it has a quick release. The dish, the shot, and a bullet from Burn. So I've been stringing my stick since I was about eight years old. And I used to think that the more complicated I made it, the better it would be. But what I found is that the more simple I made it, the more consistent it is, all right? And I've been using these knots called no-slip knots. At least I think that's what you call them. But basically, 
what they do is they tie the mesh down nice and tight and it doesn't allow the mesh to move at all. And I found that this helps with the consistency in my shooting and in my passing. But something that I do about midway down my stick is that I change up those no slip knots to regular knots, all right? So that allows for my mesh to be a bit more baggy and shift more the way I like it. And then at the same time, when it comes up here, it's still nice and tight and releases the ball extremely well. I don't do anything crazy with my sticks. I keep it pretty simple. Um, let me know what you guys think. If you have any questions, make sure to comment down below or hit my DM personally, and I'll be glad to answer you guys. Take care. Up next this week is Nick Camilo out of Raleigh, North Carolina. Nick scored 20 goals in five games as a freshman on varsity. Yes as a freshman. Watch him fake high, finish low down here. He kind of reminds me of Jules Henningberg out here on this finish. Maybe we should have brought Nick Pamilo in for our PL Academy tutorial with Jules Henningberg because he's pretty damn good at it. He can finish inside, he can finish from deep. Shout out to you, Nick. If you want to be featured on an upcoming segment of Up Next, and I, I really don't know why you wouldn't want to be featured. Emails, highlights at premierlacrosseleague.com. Lisa and I are consistently going through there and pulling out the best ones. So, emails to be featured. Now it is time for Reply All. Last week we asked you guys to send us videos of how you're keeping yourselves busy at home, any crazy workouts you're doing, and here are a few of our favorites. Quarantine Lux Footwork Drill from Michael Sowers on Paul Carcaterra's IG. Let's go. This week for Reply All, we want you all to send in your best trick shot while at home. We know you have a ton of time on your hands, so why don't you all pick up a stick, get creative, record yourself shooting a trick shot, and send it to us at PLL Nation on Instagram. And really quickly, we're gonna kick it to Kayla Kinnearum, our in-stadium host, to give you all an update on what's going on with our Snapchat show. Take it away, Kayla. Thanks, RJ and Lisa. That is right, we are bringing you brand new Snapchat shows each and every day with all of the latest around the PLL, not to mention a behind the scenes look at PLL HQ, and you never know which of your favorite players are gonna stop by to say hey. So be sure to follow us, subscribe, you can do it at Premier Lacrosse. Again, we're bringing you fresh stuff each and every day. Come join us, follow along on the fun, and we'll see you there. RJ, Lisa, back to you. Miss you guys, hope to see you soon. Lisa and I left our whistles at the office, so this week we are giving away a limited edition we the fans t-shirt these tees have been available on our website for the last week or so and all of the proceeds around these t-shirts go to benefit feeding america an organization whose goal is to assist those who are suffering during this covid 19 crisis and struggling to put food on the table so you can support this great organization and get a customized pll shirt all at the same time. Lisa, how do they win one? Comment down below which pro setup you liked the most and one thing you're eager to apply to your setup at home. That's it for this week's Fast Break and I ask of you two things. Please like this video, comment down below with a chance to win this week's final whistle giveaway and, oh wait, I have three. Let's show the world that we in the lacrosse community can do our part, make sure we're social distancing, make sure we're staying in our homes to beat COVID-19. Stay safe and we'll see you next week.